Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at my poinsettia forest. Um, the last time we visited this forest was uh, back in the beginning of August. Um, at that time uh, we cut it away back to the hardwood and um, we've allowed it to grow since that time and now it's really become large and bushy and it's uh, time to cut it back again you can see here these larger leaves they almost look like they're gonna turn a reddish color so that's uh, that's pretty cool on the one the one tree there oh well however I like to I'd like to keep this forest quite miniature So we're going to be cutting it back again today. Okay, so we'll start with this. Uh, we'll start with a larger one out the front here, the taller one. Now I like to keep these miniature, so we'll be cutting these away back. Um, what we're going to do is we'll cut a lot of the tops off for now so that we can, you know, see our structure a little bit better. And we'll come back a little bit further after we're done that. You know, actually, uh, I think I'm going to keep this second trunk shorter than this one over here. Even though I would, I'd like to keep another trunk over here. I got, if we can get something to grow here, so what we're going to do is down just above that and hopefully we'll get something coming out of here and we can get it to start to take off this way we're gonna bring this actually back just a little bit more here and hopefully we'll get something come, coming out of here That's all we're gonna do with him for now, so we'll leave we'll leave that go. And hopefully we'll get some some outward facing branches starting on there. Okay. Now we'll look at the one beside it, which is the shorter one. And surprisingly, um this one trunk that's come away up here with the great big leaves are actually from this small tree. So, and it's coming from that other trunk that's taken off from the main one there. So, yeah, that's really uh, that's really quite something. Well, we're going to begin by cutting this off up near the top here. It'll allow us to see down inside better. Just come in and cut cut all the, our tops off here. Now 
Now we're getting down closer to to the hardwood, so I'm not just going to start cutting the tops off of these these smaller ones. We're we're getting into our canopy here, so because I don't want to cut stuff that I want to keep. Now here, if I was to keep this, you can see how we got the one branch that comes up. Then it branches off into two here. I have a, a node here that potentially something could grow out of. But we're still not sure if I'm even keeping keeping this part of that trunk. I could even cut it back a little bit further. So we'll just see as we go on here. think here we'll be bringing this back and we've already got some growth right here that's just about to get larger Okay, this trunk here is still way too high. That was our large trunk that was coming up with the large leaves. So we're going to take it away back to here. Okay, so another thing I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to be taking this this one trunk off before it starts getting any bigger than what it is. Yeah, because I'm going to leave this one on as this one kind of grows away from the forest. This one here is kind of growing into the forest, so I'm just going to remove it. Okay. That looks a little bit better. There, now we'll just bring this back around here.
we are. Okay. I had to cut this one off back here because we've already got one coming off right beside it which is growing away from the forest so that was the better one to keep And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this limb. I think I'm just going to take this limb right back. Because it's growing into our forest, into our planting. So we're just going to remove that. Yeah, that's, that's better. So we have our trunk and our other limbs coming straight up. They come out here a little wee bit. But here it's kind of more natural that they're going to come up and grow out towards the outer part of our planting or away from our forest looking for light. I think for now I'm going to leave, leave this little group of leaves on here. Not just for the sake of having leaves but it's uh, it's got a nice little little branch there that I want to keep so we're just going to keep that all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top off a little bit more there we go and I think that's it for that tree that's it for that one I just gotta hope it comes back good that's all Okay, we can look at the next one. You can see here it's starting to open things up inside here. We can look at the branch structure better. You know, if we turned it around and looked at it from the outside, you can see that, you know, as it was getting lots of light from from this side, I mean, you know, we've got a lot more foliage on the outside here. Whereas these other trees were blocking the light from coming inside. Therefore, we're not going to get the foliage growing inside here. Just like a real forest, actually. Okay, so... These ones here have really grown tall, so we can look at cutting these a way back. Quite a ways back, actually. Um, we'll just, uh... We'll just first take some tops off here so we can so we can uh, get in here better take a look what's going on now you can see here I've got uh, multiple trunks coming off of the main trunk here I think I'm gonna keep this one I think that looks pretty cool there so I have a couple outer facing nodes I got one down near the bottom here I got one up here and uh, because I want to keep these trees miniature I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom here I think I'm going to take this one off here. We'll just clean up this bit of dead wood that was left from my last cutting. bring this right back 
right back to here we could have a, an outer facing node here we're going to bring this all the way back to here where we have a couple outer facing nodes you can see one there one here now once again we have some some branching that's near the back of the tree that's growing in towards the uh, forest so I think uh, I'm gonna leave this one this one has uh, this one has a node here so we have some potential for some growth coming out to the side here which is okay so we're gonna come back come a little bit higher to here I'm gonna leave this leave this new little branch on here with its leaves because it's actually in a it's in a good position so I'm just gonna leave him grow a little longer and we're gonna cut this back to here and that's gonna be it for that one That looks pretty good there. Okay, on with the next one. I think this trunk's got some pretty neat movement in it. Well, start by doing the same thing and what we're gonna do to save some time here while we're up here in the canopy we're gonna come over here and cut off some of these other ones on the tree beside it okay Well, right away, I didn't want to go cutting too much off any lower than this because we're starting to get down near stuff that we want to keep. So, if we look at this this branch here, we definitely don't want to keep it. It's it's taken off at a really strange angle, and it's actually growing back into itself. But the reason why it's doing that, it actually grew back in toward itself and it's trying to grow out the outer part of the planting here the little forest to get some light so that, that's actually pretty cool but we're gonna cut we're gonna come in and cut that back to here going to cut these off another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this completely Okay, now another thing I'd like to do is we're going to be taking this trunk off right here. So, we're actually going to come in from the back here and remove it from this side here. There we go. We'll just clean up the best we can with 
what we've got. Okay, that looks a little better. Now another thing I want to do is we're going to shorten up on our outer limb here a little bit. There we go. And we're still quite tall. Quite tall up here actually. We're going to come away back here. I'd like to keep this quite miniature so it's There we go. Okay. That's a lot better. Now we'll look at the one beside it. We're also going to bring in a way back. Cut this one right off because it's growing in towards the center of our tree. As with that one. We're going to take this right off. Okay. Yeah, that looks a little bit silly right now, but you know, if we get something growing out of the side of here, it'll kind of come towards the front, and I could continue growing this side of the trunk. And, um, uh, you know, I could, it'll allow me to keep this. Yeah, so we'll hope that something grows out of the side of here. Uh, I think we're going to bring this. We have another spot here that we can get some potential growth out of. We're going to bring this. I'll bring it back to here for now. We're going to bring this back even a little bit further. Well, that's all the work we're going to be doing on the forest today. Now we're just going to let it grow out again. And late next spring, or early next summer, I'd like to repot this grouping. And at that time, again, we can cut it back and then uh, we can replant replant them and they will be in a different configuration than what they are now and after they're planted we can uh, we can do some more correctional pruning on them well yep yeah, that's it So they've, they've got a long ways to go, but it's been really neat working with them so far and watching them grow. Um, hopefully they come back nice again, and we'll get to 
work with them again in the spring or early summer and we'll see what they look like at that time. Well that's it for today guys. Have a great day.